Hello YouTube, this is Zed from Zed Outdoors. I hope you're having a great day. So, in today's video, I want to talk about my EDC keychain, my everyday carry keychain. Now, I know I've seen a lot of uh, videos over the past couple of months about what a lot of people have been carrying around on their key sets, um, and it really comes down to you know your particular needs. Um, and here's my kind of uh, first stage of it, shall we say. There's still actually two or three things I want to add to this, and there's one or two things I want to change. But before I get onto that, let me actually just um, talk you through what I've got here. Um, now, when we talk about EDC, everyday carry, um, it literally means that. It's something that you're going to carry around with you every single day. So the reason why I mention that is because, um, put that down there for a second, is um, I've seen certain videos of certain guys with their keychains, and yeah, there's no right or wrong, everyone to their own, but I've just seen some of the keychains that are just absolutely massive. Um, there's like, you know, 500 things hanging off it, and this and that, and God knows what, everything but the kitchen sink. Um, and that's all fine, but this is what I found uh, practicality-wise, if you're not going to carry it around with you, simply because it's so cumbersome, it's so heavy or weighty or bulky, uh, you kind of defeat the objective. So what I've... I kind of put this together, at yeah, the time I make this video, we're at the kind of like middle of January, and I put this together towards the end of December, so it's only been like three, four weeks I've been kind of playing around with this setup. Um, there's things I took off, things I put on, um, and this is kind of like a stage right now where I'm quite happy with. So, without further ado, let's start with the actual keychain itself. This is the Night Eyes key rack. Um, I love this thing, man. I absolutely love this thing. So the reason why I moved on to this, I initially had a carabiner. And I had a cheap one, tried that out, ended up kind of buying a, a decent proper rock climbing one off eBay. Um, and a carabiner is obviously solid, but here's the two problems I had with a carabiner. Uh, number one, it was heavy. It was a really, really heavy bit of kit. And secondly, I've got OCD. <laughs> so I, I, I like things in order. And the problem I found with a carabiner, when you kind of put your keys on there, uh, and it's kind of in your pocket, it's kind of jungling around, uh, you kind of take your carabiner right? and man the keys were all over the place so for you to come find your your keys was just an absolute nightmare uh, and this really really was getting annoying so I thought to myself you know what what's the best way of solving this problem um, so I started to do, uh, to do a search online and I found this here from Night Eyes. Night Eyes are you know, a company, American company do some really 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 cool accessories uh, and I found this and intrinsically what you're getting you're getting like a um, spring lock carabiner here very very strong and what you've got, I'm just trying to get the, the, the focus here, is you get this small, you get about six smaller kind of uh, s beaners, um, all kind of color coded. You get two black, two brown, and two gray. Um, and what this does is, you know, every time you take your, your keys out of the pocket, bam, you know, it's just automatically in order. Uh, and yeah, this just, I just love this bit of kit. It's a really, really sturdy model. Um, it keeps your keys organized. And the beauty is, if all of a sudden you want to take something off, I mean, the focus isn't great here, you just take it off, and that's it. You know, you can just take it off and to clip it back on, bam, that's it. And every time, you know, you put it away, that's it, everything's in order. So that's a Night Eyes key rack. Um, I've actually got the model as well, I forgot what it's called, but it's, it's the exact same model. But it's got a light here, uh, like a small light, LED light, and you kind of press it. I mean, I'll do a, probably uh, another review on that. Uh, and I've got that model. Uh, I've seen a couple of guys use that, and um, it's a beautiful model. The only two problems I have with that, number one, it just added to the bulk, and secondly, the, the, the width of it in terms of the profile. You know, the light kind of came out to about here, um, and it was just kind of getting a little bit tedious. So I quickly resorted back to just using the standard Night Eyes uh, key rack. So in terms of what I've got on now, like I said, there's two or three things I want to, a couple of things I want to change on here, and two or three things I want to add on. But first, let me just go through what I have got on here. Now, the focus on this camera isn't fantastic but this is the lead lens a p3 um lead lens is kind of one of the first decent torches that i bought quite a few years ago for camping and i actually love this stuff so this looks a little bit a little bit battered in terms of some of the paint coming on this is um aircraft aluminium it's, it's black now i've only had this for maybe about what a couple of months uh but the reason why it's kind of like some of the paint is worn off a little bit is obviously because i use this and this is my edc so i carry this around every single day and um, the, the lead lens, I mean, I'll do a separate review on that, but it's a fantastic torch. Yeah, it's got the, um, the button is manually operated here, so you just press, and you can just kind of press it lightly without going all the way in, so you can just do kind of flashing manually. Um, so all round, you know, this is a, a one, 
uh, AAA battery on this one. So that was a big pro for me. And this throws out a really, really good reach. Uh, so I wanted a really decent torch. I had a slightly bigger model before. Once again, I was just getting cumbersome. So I changed to this. I ordered this. I'm really, really happy with it. But, you know, the other thing that's good with this is that you can... I mean, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but... Now what that does is by kind of pressing it all the way in, when it throws out the um, the light, it has like a very, very wide reach. And when you push it forward, it has a very narrow reach and it throws out quite a bit. So it's a really, really cool torch in that respect. So what is the kind of one issue I've got with this? I know this is button here. Uh, when you take it out, you know, your, your pocket or whatever you keep it, you know, quite often it just kind of snags on this. And so what you find is like you take it out of your pocket and you know, the, the, the light comes on for a split second. So you can imagine over time that will kind of drain your battery. Uh, I mean, not a huge amount, but you know, like over time it will. So that's the kind of one issue I've got with it. And also it's really just got one setting, you know, press and that's it. So what is something where you could do kind of like high lumens, low lumens. Now obviously you can adjust the throw of it uh, by kind of like pulling this in and out. Uh, but I wanted something which actually had settings on it, you know, where you press it once, it had low lumens so you could last longer. Um, you know, if you just want to kind of see right, right, you know, kind of in front of you, and for example, you know, uh, the lock on your door. Uh, and also you can have um, one where it has strobes and, and a high lumen setting. So I'm looking at a couple of models right now, like the Phoenix uh, model, I think it's the LDR1, and I'm also looking at an Olight. I think it's called o IO3 or something. So I want to kind of replace this. Uh, I'm happy with it, it is fantastic, but I want to get one, it's a slightly smaller, uh, and it has all those settings on it. Okay. So the next thing I have on here is my set of keys. There's a lot of keys here, but believe it or not, I actually need all these. Um, one little side thing with this, once again, you've got to try, try things out. I actually put my car keys on here, right? And you know when you talk about the concept of, you know, the, um, was it the needle that broke the, uh, the camel's back or the hater? I forgot the saying. Anyway, you know what I mean. Um, this was that one thing too far, my car keys. So I put this on here thinking, yeah, that'll be fine. But you know, when you just put on the one extra thing that just makes it really cumbersome. Uh, and this was it. So I kind of took this off. This is my car key. This is a, a, for a steering lock. Uh, and this is Boomerang, um, a policy you get in the UK. This is really cool, actually. If you have car insurance in the UK, uh, Boomerang is only a few pounds extra a year. And what we'll do, they actually give you key cover. So if you lose your keys, you know, they'll send a locksmith out. They can be very expensive. Uh, they'll come out, you know, they'll replace your lock, your barrel, your replacement key, whatever, whatever has to be done, they'll do it. And it's all covered, you know, it's all covered by Boomerang policy. Um, so that, you know, that's a real kind of side little nugget. But like I said, when I, by adding a car key on here, you're just getting too much. So, obviously there's my keys, my torch. Uh, the next thing is a Gerber multi-tool. Okay, uh, this is the Bear Grylls model. Um, this is fantastic, I love this bit of kit. It's got a spring-loaded um, set of pliers on it. You know, uh, very, very sturdy. It's got a serrated knife. Uh, let me just quickly show you that. It actually tells you which one's which. So, this is the blade. Um, that's got a kind of straight cut blade. This is UK legal. Mind you, living in London, you're probably still going to get a headache <laughs> having one of these. Um, God, you don't know London police, man. So then you've got a serrated one on the other side. And obviously, you've got a few bits and bobs. You've got a flat head, Phillips, and you know, nail farm, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, even blokes need to keep their nails looking clean. So you've got that, the Gerber multi-tool. This is one of the things I want to replace. I'm happy with it, but really I want to get one of the smaller Leathermans. I, I love Leathermans, so I want to get the smaller Leathermans and change that. The next thing I've got is a pry bar. So this, let me just try and hold it the correct way around. So this is a Leatherman Bruiser uh, pry bar. I love this thing. It's got a, I'm not sure what the term is. I think it's, what do they call it? Cold steel finish or something? Um, but it's kind of got that industrial look to it. Uh, solid bit of kit, obviously bottle opener, it's got kind of like some wrenches there, uh, it's got a flat head. Um, obviously this is designed as a pry bar. Um, I've actually got the Gerber, what's it called, a Gerber Shard. I put that on here but I changed it for this because it's got a slimmer profile. The Gerber Shard has got a kind of bend at the end which is which is useful but I found that was getting caught on my jeans. Um, so by having this, you know, I prefer this one a lot more. Plus aesthetically it just, it just looks a lot nicer. So that's the... Uh, Leatherman Bruiser. On here on the one key ring I've got uh, a whistle. This is a very cheap one I bought with eBay because I want something very small and kind of you know with a low profile. I actually want to invest in a titanium one, like a good quality one. Um, I had a Fox one on here like the big plastic one. They're really really solid but once again I found they were just too big you know so 
yeah, I got a small one instead. Well, part of a little kind of first aid kit pack. You know, really, really cheap, but you know, hey, it does the job for now. Uh, but I do want to replace that with a solid titanium reliable one. Because when you want it to work, you want it to work, you know. The next thing I've got is a true utility pen. Okay. Uh, these are cool. These are so, so cool. They take like little cartridges, like ink cartridges, made by true utility. It's kind of very solid steel. And obviously, you know, it, it comes out like a proper, proper lens, so if you want to write. Um, and then obviously to put it back in, you put it in, slides in. And you hear that click, all right? So that's the true utility telescopic pen. And the last thing I've got on now is a true utility peanut lighter. So this actually screws on, it's got a no ring. So let's just put this down here. Now, this is a petrol lighter, you know, with a wick on there. This is so cool. So let me just get the focus there. So you can see that. <laughs> let me just put that out. Um, I actually made one mistake with this. I've, I've never used a petrol lighter in my life. So when I fill this in, it's actually, you know, it's, this slides out and you can kind of fill it in with your petrol. I put a bit too much in there. So it was like a little mini flamethrower. So I had, to, I had to actually light it a few times just to burn it off. Um, so I kind of learned that, learned that tip. Kind of go easy on the petrol fluid. It doesn't actually take that much. Um, and like I say, it just slides back in here. Yeah, it's got an O-ring. And that's it. I mean, honestly, because you know, I don't smoke or anything, so this is just an emergency lighter. You know, this will kind of last a long, long time with just the amount of that kind of fluid there. And I'll kind of make sure once a month, top it up with maybe one or two drops, just to make sure it's all filled up. So like I said, there you go. That's my EDC keychain. So one of the two, three things I want to change on this, I want to change the torch. I want to get one which has, you know, a bit more power to it, something like the Olight or a Phoenix. Um, keys are fine. Once again, I told you, I've, you know, I've taken away the, the car keys. Right, so you're just adding too much bulk to it. I did want to get the Leatherman, like a smaller Leatherman. Give that a try. Uh, Leatherman Bruiser, I'm really happy with that. The whistle I want to change, get a solid titanium one. Um, I've got obviously a true utility pen, I'm happy with that. I might give the, what's that called, a Fisher Space Pen. I think they'll do a keyring version. Uh, the true utility, I'm really happy with that. True utility uh, keyring, the peanut lighter. Um, I'm really, really happy with that. And like I said, there's two or three things I want to add to that. Number one, I want to add on. That's a thumbs up, number one, number one. I've got to make sure I'm holding it out the right way. Number one, I want to add on a, a USB storage key. So I want to add on, I want to get two different types. You get a really small one, like tiny micro USBs. Uh, and also you get the, the solid titanium, weatherproof, bomb proof, whatever you want to call it, uh, key rings. So I want to try getting one of each of those and just seeing which one looks good in there. But I do want a USB key on here because I do, um, my business is online. So, you know, I deal with a lot of kind of digital files. So when I get uh, one of them, uh, I want to get a uh, paracord bracelet, uh, sorry, a fob, or kind of fob to kind of hang off here. Uh, possibly even look at the monkey's fist, obviously for self-defense purposes uh, and aesthetics. <clears throat> uh, add that on. Um, and what else is there? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, those are the kind of main things I want to add on here. Uh, possibly a small kind of Spyderco knife. I'm not sure about that yet. I mean, I'm not really a big knife person, so. Uh, yeah, this kind of the Gerber multi tool, even the Leatherman would have that, so I'm quite happy with that. So those are the couple of things I want to add on here. Uh, like I said, you know, the key thing being, guys, you've got to you've got to remember that an EDC keychain is about actually having it on you, everyday carry. Uh, I've heard some guys describe an, an EDC, yeah, you know, in terms of yeah, you know, if I were to meet you at a local petrol station or a local shop to grab some bread, I'd have this on me. Uh, and I can see right now, I would have this on me. You know, this is on me 24/7 at home, outside. Uh, I work from home. I run an online business, so. Yeah, this is with me, even at home. Um, the one slight adjustment I made, so what is at home, I wear primarily tracksuit bottoms because um, I work from home and I do a lot of exercise. So, yeah, I've got no one to impress at home and uh, I just wear tracksuit bottoms. So this is the one problem I found, I'll give you a little tip here, that obviously you ain't got really nowhere to clip it on tracksuit bottoms. Uh, and I kept it in my pocket and my God, you know, I was walking with a limp. Uh, because obviously it really weighs it down I and mean, this has got a little bit of weight to it so I played around with loads and loads of things and eventually I I kind of settled on this let me move this out of the way uh, apologies for the video being a bit too long I want to kind of make sure I cover everything so this is a, I think they call it an S what do they call it again S belt clip or something this I actually had to order from the States believe it or not so I'm in the UK and um, I just couldn't find anything. You know, there wasn't really nothing around. And I tried a couple of different variations of this. You know, they're quite cheap. I ordered one from Australia. That was really good, but that was just too, too, too stiff, the metal. I've got one from the UK. It was just, it was just really flimsy. This one I got from the States. I'm not sure where it's made. I don't think it's got a brand to it. And I'll tell you what, this kind of, um, turn it this way. 
this kind of hooks on to your to your um, to your track suit box, and this literally just clips on here. Okay, so you can imagine that kind of clipping on. And this, I just tuck into my tracksuit bottoms, but it kind of hangs it, if that makes sense. So it doesn't drop into the tracksuit bottoms and drop the weight down. It actually just hangs it. And this is just a perfect setup. I'm really, really happy with this setup. So this is the only kind of add-on I'll add to this, you know, uh, in terms of, you know, when I put it on my pocket. And that's from a practicality point of view. But like I said, that's my EDC keychain. It is work in progress. There are some things um, I do want to change on here, two, three things, and two, three things I want to add to it. Um, and once I kind of get to that point, I'll be honest, I'm happy with that. You know, I don't want to go overboard. Like I said, I don't want something that weighs kind of you know, three tons to carry around in my pocket. It's got to be practical, it's stuff that I need, it's stuff that I use, it's stuff that I know I'll be using kind of every single day. And I do use most of this stuff, you know, um, on a regular basis. Uh, so like I said, that's my EDC keychain video. One thing I'm going to be looking to do is once a month, as of next month, uh, February, is do a full kind of EDC um video you know on my my, my keychain my wallet you know my my backpack um and do because obviously it's gonna be changing a lot you know i'm really getting into this stuff now you know the outdoors and survival and all that stuff uh on quite a quite a big way so i really i know it's going to go through quite a few transitions so a couple of things number one um if you've got an edc video on your keychain then you know post a link um below i'd love to see it um, and also, secondly, you know, any suggestions, you know, on, on model numbers, on stuff I may add on, or stuff I may be missing out on, uh, you know, stuff I should change, you know, be wary of, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of you guys have got some really, really good stuff to share. So, hey, I'm a student, you know, I want to learn these things. So, if you've got anything to share, please, you know, once again, just comment down below. And once again, take, thanks for taking the time. I saw this video was a bit longer than I'd liked. Um, I think I've got to learn to kind of shorten these videos down. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of make sure I covered everything possibly. Uh, and like I said, you know, first and foremost, you know, just give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Also, please comment down below um, if you've got any suggestions on what I should add on or what you've got going on for yourself. Um, and also, thirdly, you know, if you haven't done so already, you know, just um, you know, uh, subscribe. I think the button's down below or up here or I don't know, somewhere here. OK, uh, I think in the corner here. There's a subscribe button, but you know, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be doing regular updates on my EDC stuff. I'm gonna be heading out quite a bit now for the push, bushcraft stuff and doing some wild camps and a whole bunch of cool stuff. The weather here is starting to spruce up just a little bit in the UK, you know. So anyway, thanks once again. Please like, comment, uh, and subscribe. And until then, take care of yourself. Peace out.